How does a ball valve work? Valves are shutoff or regulating equipment placed along the path of fluid streams. In this video, we will show you how a ball valve works. Moreover, if you watch the other videos on our playlist, you will find out all the other types of valves in existence. JAWS, for over a decade, has been providing its customers with the best solutions for their supply chain. And in their catalogs, you can find any kind of valve from leading manufacturers. The ball valve is one of the most common valves, mostly used in domestic faucets or in pipes for water distribution, and takes its name from the shape of the shutter and by how it moves. It is indeed shaped like a ball. To obstruct the flow, the floating ball makes a 90-degree rotation on the normal axis to that of the piping run. Let's now see together how a ball valve is made. First, we find the valve body. And we can clearly identify two housings at both ends, which will be coupled to the pipes. On the inside, we can find the floating ball, a drilled sphere which enables the fluid to flow through. It is made of brass for valves that have to work with low pressures and made in carbon for high pressures. Some models instead may be made of synthetic material, such as PVC for working with non-corrosive or colder fluids. The seal, directly connected to the shutter, allows the correct tightening of the valve so that there aren't any leaks of the fluid. It consists of two rings of plastic material like Teflon. Above the shutter, we find the stem, which connects the floating ball to the lever used to operate the valve. The lever handle is usually made of cast or molded aluminum for smaller valves and made of durable anti-corrosive steel for big valves. The operation of the ball valve is very simple. Let's now see it in detail. The valve is installed in the middle of two pipes. Keep in mind that this is not a control valve, but rather a shutoff valve. That is, it interrupts the fluid that flows inside. To open or close the valve, the lever handle at the top must be operated. Just a quarter turn is enough to operate it, since the floating ball has to rotate only 90 degrees. One possible disadvantage of the ball valve includes the water hammer. It is a shock wave created by the inertia of the liquid column in motion that crashes against the wall. When we close a ball valve, the liquid flow stops so quickly that the shock wave can cause damage to nearby pipes. Let's now move on to the different ball valves available on the market. We can find two main types. Full bore valve, in which the hole of the shutter has the same diameter as the pipe. Reduced bore valve, in which the hole of the shutter is smaller compared to the pipe's diameter. This type of valve reduces the speed of the fluid flowing internally. We also have a third type of ball valve called Venturi valve, used to increase fluid pressure. It is named after physicist Giovanni Battista Venturi, who discovered the relationship between pressure and speed in the physics of fluids. The valve with the Venturi tube looks like a normal ball valve. The only difference is found in the central diameter. The smaller diameter causes the liquid to increase its speed, and once it reaches the larger section, the fluid will increase its pressure while losing speed. This type of valve is used in filling stations or in steam plants, where high pressure is required. The Venturi effect is called hydrodynamic paradox, because it is believed that pressure will increase in more constricted areas of the pipeline, while thanks to the rate of flow, we observe the exact opposite is taking place. Ball valves have several advantages. They allow the full flow port, minimizing load dispersions and pressure drops. 
They are cheaper compared to many other types of valves. They close quickly with simple operation. They do not require any type of maintenance or lubrication. They also have some disadvantages. The water hammer, already mentioned above, is present in all types of fast closing valves. When used to regulate the flow of fluid, it can create turbulence. This would lead to a reduction in flow rate, more noise, and vibrations that could damage the valve itself and the pipes connected to it. Do you know how many types of valves we use every day? Don't miss the videos on our playlist. You will find out all kinds of valves that surround us. If you found this video useful, please let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Find out our next projects by visiting our website jawscompany.com.